In the course of our existence, we often find ourselves immersed in nostalgia for the past, entangled in the labyrinth of regrets. We regret mistakes and lament opportunities that have slipped through our fingers. Events are relived repeatedly in our minds, fostering a fervent longing for the possibility of altering the course of things by going back in time. However, the harsh reality is that the past is a closed chapter, an immutable point on the timeline that does not yield to our desires. If this is your first time on my channel, I request your support by subscribing and liking the video. This helps me continue creating content like this in the future. In this video, we will delve into the profound teachings bequeathed by Marcus Aurelius, exploring powerful perspectives revealing the path to cultivate a fuller, more peaceful existence with deeper meaning. These teachings transcend time, ranging from finding joy in small life moments to embracing constant change and being fully immersed in the present. Discover how to control your emotions and unlock your true potential with our ebook, The Power of the Mind. Click on the link in the first pinned comment to get it now. The ancestral wisdom in these lessons offers transformative potential for daily life. From valuing simple moments and finding joy in them to accepting life's inevitable transformations with grace and wisdom, these teachings invite us to live consciously and fully. They guide us to discover happiness in everyday experiences, accept inevitable life changes with serenity, and remain fully present in every moment. This provides an opportunity to live in a more authentic and meaningful way. Marcus Aurelius's lessons encourage reflection on our relationship with time and the cultivation of a mentality that allows us to find peace and fulfillment in every step of our journey through life. Lesson 1. Be open to the idea that things won't remain the same forever. Another fundamental teaching of Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of embracing the impermanent nature of life. He reminds us that nothing remains static and change is an inherent part of the human experience. Despite the human tendency to resist change, clinging to the comfort of the familiar and routine, Aurelius challenges us to accept the inevitability of change and flow with it. By adopting an open attitude toward change, we liberate ourselves from the constraints of our own thinking, opening up to new possibilities and opportunities. This mindset enhances our adaptability and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's fluctuations with greater ease and grace. Being open to change also enables us to release attachment to specific outcomes, allowing us to appreciate the present moment for what it is, rather than constantly yearning for something different or better. Moreover, this openness facilitates the cultivation of a growth mindset. Challenges and setbacks are viewed as opportunities for learning and personal development, rather than insurmountable obstacles. Embracing change makes us more creative and innovative, capable of transcending the limitations of our own thinking. It is crucial to note that being open to change doesn't imply recklessness or impulsiveness. Instead, it involves approaching life with purpose, curiosity, and openness, rather than succumbing to fear or resistance. In essence, being open to change encourages us to take risks, try new things, and uphold our fundamental values and principles. Let's heed the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and embrace the impermanent nature of life. By flowing with change rather than resisting it, we can cultivate resilience, creativity, and growth in our lives, all while finding joy and fulfillment in the present moment. Lesson 2. Learning from Mistakes One of the valuable teachings of Marcus Aurelius underscores the importance of learning from our mistakes. He emphasizes that mistakes should not be sources of shame or avoidance. Rather, they present opportunities for growth and personal improvement. Recognizing our shared humanity, he notes that making mistakes is inevitable, and it is through these errors that we gain knowledge and valuable wisdom. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to view mistakes as teachers and approach them with a mindset of curiosity and self-reflection. Learning from our mistakes requires humility and a willingness to take responsibility for our actions rather than resorting to blame or excuses. Acknowledging the consequences of our actions allows us to initiate the learning process and grow from our experiences. Reflecting on our mistakes enables us to identify patterns and behaviors that may hinder our progress. It helps us understand the underlying causes behind our actions and empowers us to make necessary adjustments. Developing self-awareness through this process liberates us from negative patterns, enabling us to make better decisions in the future. Moreover, learning from mistakes fosters resilience and perseverance. It teaches us that failure is not a permanent state, but a stepping stone toward success. Each mistake becomes an opportunity to learn, adapt, and improve. These experiences build the strength and determination necessary to overcome future challenges. It is crucial to note that learning from mistakes does not mean dwelling on them or allowing them to define us. Instead, it involves drawing lessons, forgiving ourselves, 
and moving forward with newfound wisdom. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that our mistakes do not define our value, but offer us the chance to become better versions of ourselves. Learning from our mistakes is essential for personal growth and development. Embracing each mistake as a valuable learning opportunity allows us to acquire deep and significant knowledge, developing greater resilience in the face of challenges and making wiser decisions in the future. Following Marcus Aurelius's teachings, we face our mistakes with humility, accepting them without harsh judgment. This approach combines humility, recognizing our humanity, and curiosity, leading to a thorough examination of the circumstances surrounding the mistake. It involves deep reflection on actions, to decisions, and factors, offering a clearer understanding of underlying causes and behavioral patterns contributing to the error. Commitment to continuous improvement is the key to transforming an error into an opportunity for growth. This involves using the experience of the mistake as a springboard to evolve, implementing positive changes, and learning from our mistakes. By adopting an attitude of curiosity and a commitment to continuous improvement, we follow fundamental principles that turn each mistake into a valuable lesson, promoting significant and sustained personal growth. Lesson 3. Accept that the past cannot be changed. One of the most profound teachings of Marcus Aurelius centers around the importance of accepting that the past cannot be changed. This simple yet powerful concept can profoundly impact how we view and approach our lives. When we cling to regrets and dwell on what could have been, we inflict unnecessary suffering upon ourselves. We become ensnared in a cycle of longing for a different outcome, constantly replaying events in our minds and wishing that things had turned out differently. However, no matter how much we wish or hope, we cannot alter what has already happened. Acceptance, in this context, does not imply resignation or surrender. Rather, it involves recognizing the reality of the past and understanding that we have no control over it. The essence lies in acknowledging that the only moment we truly have power over is the present. By accepting the immutable nature of the past, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to rewrite history and release the chains of regret and self-accusation. Instead of fixating on what could have been, we can direct our energy toward what is within our control, the decisions we make in the present moment. Acceptance enables us to let go of attachment to outcomes and embrace the beauty of impermanence. It teaches us to appreciate the lessons and experiences that the past has bestowed upon us, even if they were painful or challenging. Every moment, whether joyful or painful, contributes to shaping who we are. Acceptance of the unalterable past cultivates resilience and strength. We learn to adapt to life's inevitable ups and downs with grace and equanimity, becoming more present and aware, fully embracing the richness of each passing moment. By acknowledging that the past cannot be changed, we open ourselves to new possibilities and opportunities. We can focus on personal growth, self-improvement, and cultivating meaningful relationships, channeling our energy into creating a present and a future better for ourselves and those around us becomes the focal point. Let us embrace the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and accept that the past is beyond our control. In doing so, we liberate ourselves from the chains of regret and instead focus on living fully in the present moment. This approach allows us to find peace, joy, and fulfillment in our lives, knowing that we have the power to shape our future even if we cannot change our past. Lesson 4. Be true to yourself and live honestly. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom invites us to delve into the profound meaning of being genuine with ourselves and acting with integrity. This principle goes beyond external conformity, urging us to live in harmony with our values, principles, and internal authenticity. Being true to ourselves is not merely a practice. It's a constant commitment to our essence, recognizing and embracing our singularities while aligning our actions with our true identity. Honesty, as Aurelius proposes, extends beyond simply telling the truth. It forms the backbone of our actions and requires transparency in our thoughts, implying congruence between our words and actions. This approach avoids manipulation and deception, nourishing trust in our relationships and strengthening our personal integrity. Being true to ourselves, and living honestly necessitates an inner journey of self-exploration and self-reflection. It requires immersing ourselves in the depth of our identity by examining our motives, values, and goals. This introspection enables us to identify and overcome biases, prejudices, and limitations, promoting a path towards personal growth and constant evolution. Living honestly also implies taking responsibility for our choices and their repercussions, being aware of the impact our actions have on others and the surrounding environment. 
This responsibility leads us to recognize the consequences of our decisions and take corrective measures when necessary. Establishing authentic and deep bonds with those around us is a natural outcome of being true to ourselves and living honestly. By radiating authenticity, we attract genuine connections and relationships that value our sincerity and transparency, forging meaningful connections based on trust and mutual respect. However, being true to ourselves and living honestly does not mean dismissing the feelings or points of view of others. On the contrary, it involves finding a balance between our values and needs with empathy and respect for others, requiring an open mind, a willingness to actively listen, and the consideration of diverse perspectives. This approach fosters an environment of understanding and collaboration. Embracing Marcus Aurelius's teachings on fidelity to oneself and honesty opens the doors to a more authentic and fulfilling life. By aligning our actions with our values and practicing honesty in every aspect of our lives, we cultivate self-awareness, reap deep connections, build relationships founded on trust, and live with integrity. Seeking to be true to ourselves and live honestly becomes a guiding principle as we navigate the complexities of life. Lesson 5. Appreciate the good things in your life. The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of appreciating the things in our lives. In a world often filled with distractions and challenges, it is easy to overlook the blessings and positive aspects that surround us. However, by cultivating a mindset of gratitude and appreciation, we can find joy and satisfaction even in the simplest things. The act of appreciating the good things in our lives begins with the development of mindfulness and presence in the present moment. It involves taking time to reflect and truly recognize the positive aspects of our lives, shifting our focus from what we lack to what we already have. Gratitude allows us to recognize the abundance that exists within and around us, helping us perceive beauty in everyday moments, the kindness of others, and opportunities for growth and learning. Nurturing a sense of fulfillment and contentment through appreciating the good things in our lives can have a profound impact on our overall well-being. Research has shown that gratitude is linked to an increase in happiness, better relationships, and improved mental health. It can help us cope with challenges with resilience and perspective knowing that there are still blessings in the midst of difficulties. Expressing gratitude towards others, as encouraged by Marcus Aurelius, involves recognizing and appreciating the contributions and kindness of those around us. This not only elevates others, but also strengthens our connections and fosters a sense of community. It's important to note that appreciating the good things does not mean ignoring or denying the challenges or difficulties we face. It's about finding a balance between recognizing both the positive and negative aspects of life. By appreciating the good, we can find consolation, strength, and inspiration to face difficult times. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the transformative power of appreciating the good things in our lives. Through cultivating gratitude, we can find joy, satisfaction, and resilience in the midst of life's challenges. Let us embrace this practice of appreciation and open our hearts to the abundance that surrounds us every day. Lesson 6. Focus on what is within your control. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is within our control. In life, numerous circumstances and events are outside our influence. However, by directing our attention and efforts towards what we can control, we can find greater peace, effectiveness, and growth. Personal focus on what is within our control involves recognizing that we have power over our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. We have the ability to choose how to respond to situations and how to perceive the world around us. By shifting our attention inward, we can cultivate a sense of empowerment and agency. One aspect within our control is our mindset. We can choose to adopt a positive growth-oriented mindset even in the face of challenges. Cultivating resilience, optimism, and belief in our ability to overcome obstacles. By nurturing a constructive mindset, we can approach difficulties with determination and find creative solutions. Our actions are also within our control. We can choose to take proactive steps toward our goals, make decisions consciously aligned with our values, and prioritize our time and energy on meaningful activities. By focusing on what we can do instead of ruminating about what we cannot change, we can move forward and generate positive change in our lives. We also have control over how we relate to others and the quality of our relationships. We can choose to communicate easily, show empathy and respect, set limits, practice active listening, and seek understanding. By focusing on fostering healthy connections, we can cultivate meaningful relationships that enrich our lives. It is crucial to recognize that there are aspects of life beyond our control. External events, the actions of others, and unpredictable circumstances can impact us. However, 
By accepting reality and focusing on what is within our control, we can avoid unnecessary stress, frustration, and disappointment. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the power of focusing on what is within our control by directing our attention towards our thoughts, actions, mindset, and relationships, we can find a sense of empowerment and face life's challenges with greater resilience and effectiveness. Let's embrace this teaching by focusing on what we can control while accepting and adapting to aspects of life that are outside our influence. Lesson 7. Take time to reflect on yourself and your actions. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to take time to reflect on ourselves and our actions. In the maelstrom of life, it is easy to get caught up in the external world and neglect our internal world. However, moments of reflection and self-examination provide valuable insights. Cultivating self-awareness and making conscious decisions involve taking time to think about ourselves, creating space for introspection and self-reflection. It means setting aside moments of solitude and silence to immerse ourselves in our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, our values, and our aspirations. Self-reflection allows us to evaluate our actions and behaviors, helping us recognize patterns, habits, and tendencies that can hinder our personal growth or cause harm to ourselves or others. Through honest self-assessment, we can identify areas for improvement and consciously strive to align our actions with our values. In addition to reflecting on ourselves, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to reflect on our actions. This involves considering the consequences of our choices and behaviors, taking responsibility for the impact we have on ourselves, others, and the world around us. By reflecting on our actions, we can make more intentional decisions that are aligned with our values and contribute positively to our lives and the lives of others. Taking time to think about ourselves and our actions also encourages personal growth and continuous improvement. It allows us to learn from our mistakes, celebrate our successes, and set goals for the future. By continually questioning and challenging ourselves, we can evolve into the best versions of ourselves. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the value of taking time to reflect on ourselves and our actions. Through reflection, introspection, and thoughtful consideration of our choices, we can cultivate self-awareness, make conscious decisions, and encourage personal growth. Let's embrace this practice of self-reflection and take moments of contemplation to deepen our understanding of ourselves and live a more intentional and fulfilling life. Lesson 8. Leave Behind Resentment This teaching of Marcus Aurelius transcends the ages due to its profound relevance in everyday life. Resentment, that negative and corrosive emotion, has the power to overshadow our happiness and hinder our path towards a full and serene life. Marcus Aurelius urges us to free ourselves from this emotional burden and nurture a mindset rooted in forgiveness and understanding. Resentment often originates in the retention of past grievances or the perception of injustice. This feeling engulfs us, consuming our thoughts and feelings, weaving an incessant cycle of anger, resentment, and negativity that plunges us into a harmful emotional spiral. However, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that resentment does not hurt those to whom we direct these emotions, but instead harms ourselves. It's like carrying a heavy weight that paralyzes us preventing us from moving towards a state of emotional well-being and personal growth. To free ourselves from resentment, it is essential to recognize and accept the wounds or pain we have experienced. We must understand that holding on to resentment does not benefit us in any way. On the contrary, it ties us to the past, hindering our ability to fully enjoy the present. Forgiveness emerges as a powerful tool to rid ourselves of resentment. It is not about forgetting the actions that have caused us pain, but disengaging from the emotional weight that this feeling generates. By forgiving others, we free ourselves from the negative emotions that keep us prisoners. However, forgiving ourselves is equally crucial, as we often carry resentment toward ourselves for past mistakes or perceived failures. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that forgiving ourselves is an essential part of personal growth and self-compassion. Leaving resentment behind involves a profound shift in perspective. It requires choosing to focus on the present rather than getting caught up in past grievances, directing our energy toward constructive actions that foster healing and personal growth. By freeing ourselves from resentment, we create an inner space filled with compassion, empathy, and understanding. We develop the ability to contemplate situations from different angles and face conflicts with a mentality of reconciliation, not revenge. This change leads us to maintain healthier relationships and cultivate inner peace. Leaving behind resentment becomes a transformative practice that allows us to live with greater serenity, compassion, and emotional freedom. 
By adopting Marcus Aurelius' teachings and choosing forgiveness over resentment, we release the weight of the past and create a fuller present and future for both ourselves and those around us. Lesson 9. Show understanding and compassion towards others. This is a principle emphasized by Marcus Aurelius, and it is essential to cultivate empathy, kindness, and a genuine desire to understand and support our fellow human beings in our daily interactions. Showing understanding involves putting ourselves in the shoes of others, striving to see the world from their perspective, and recognizing that each person has their own experiences, unique beliefs, and challenges. By seeking to understand others, we can foster deeper connections and build bridges of empathy and compassion. Compassion is closely linked to understanding. It is the ability to recognize and empathize with the suffering, struggles, and joys of others. Compassion allows us to extend a helping hand, offering support and showing kindness to those in need. This is a powerful force that can provide comfort, healing, and unity. When we show understanding and compassion towards others, we create an environment of acceptance and inclusion. We recognize the inherent value and dignity of each individual, regardless of their background, beliefs, or circumstances. By practicing understanding and compassion, we foster a sense of belonging and promote a more harmonious and compassionate society. Demonstrating understanding and compassion can have a transformative impact on our relationships. It strengthens bonds, builds trust, and nurtures a sense of mutual respect and care. By addressing conflicts or disagreements with empathy and a willingness to understand, we can find peaceful resolutions and deepen our connections. It is important to note that showing understanding and compassion does not mean condoning harmful actions or encouraging negative behaviors. It means recognizing the humanity in others while holding them accountable for their actions, setting healthy boundaries, and practicing self-care. By providing empathy and support, Marcus Aurelius teaches us the importance of showing understanding and compassion towards others. By cultivating empathy, kindness, and a willingness to understand, we can contribute to creating a more compassionate world. Let us strive to practice understanding and compassion in our interactions, fostering connections, healing, and unity in our relationships and communities. Lesson 10. Accept Change Marcus Aurelius urges us to reflect on the importance of accepting change in our daily lives. Change is an unavoidable constant in human existence, and instead of resisting or fearing it, we can embrace it as an opportunity for personal growth, adaptation, and transformation. Facing change requires a flexible and open mentality, releasing ties with the familiar, and being willing to enter the unknown. By accepting change, we allow ourselves to open up to new experiences, perspectives, and possibilities. Although change can be uncomfortable and challenging, disrupting our routines and bringing uncertainty, it is precisely in this embrace where we discover our capacity to adapt, find strength, and develop aspects of our personality. Change gives us opportunities to learn, grow, and expand our horizons. It also frees us from stagnation and complacency, prompting us to explore new directions, take calculated risks, and seek both personal and professional growth. Accepting change allows us to unlock our potential and discover hidden talents and abilities. It involves nurturing a mindset of curiosity and learning by approaching new situations with an open mind and seeking opportunities for development and improvement. By becoming lifelong learners, we constantly adapt and evolve in response to the ever-changing world around us. Accepting change allows us to grasp the impermanence of life, reminding ourselves that everything is transitory and subject to transformation. Instead of clinging to the past or worrying excessively about the future, we can focus on the present and find peace in the flow of life. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the valuable lesson of finding wisdom in change. Adopting a mentality of openness, flexibility, and curiosity allows us to face the inevitable changes in life with growth and adaptability. Let's embrace change as an opportunity to develop ourselves, learn, and transform. Let's recognize and celebrate the intrinsic beauty of the ever-changing nature of life.